Okay, so here we are once again. The topic of is Panama safe comes up again. So we're talking about the lost girls of Panama. Now, I need to uh, touch on something for a minute. Pause. We're going to come over to Google. We're going to search is Panama safe? Is Panama safe for family vacation? Watch this. And I'm making a point. So Pay attention, guys. If you're an expat currently living here or you're planning on moving to Panama, pay close attention. It says, is it safe for an American to live in Panama? It says Panama is generally a safe country and there are no travel warnings in place. OK, now we're going to come over here. It says Panama has high crime rates. OK, exercise increased caution. So basically it's going to be mixed reviews. And the reason for that is no matter where you go in the world, wherever there's poverty, there's going to be crime. That's what happens when you guys create classes. Okay. That's what, that's what happens. Okay. So we come over here to Wikipedia for the people that don't know what this is about. Deaths of Chris Kremers and Lizane Froome. All right. So April, 2000, 14th. Now, why is this coming back up again? I'll tell you why this is coming back up is because there are people that are interested in moving in Panama and they're searching. Is it safe? What's the crime rate and all of that? Now, I have to break some news to you guys that you might not want to hear. Um, <laughs> When I moved to Mexico or when I was talking about moving to Mexico, people that never left the country were telling me how I was going to get kidnapped by the cartel. Uh, people were going to plant drugs on us. Uh, we would get kidnapped and all of that extra stuff. You have to experience life for yourself now. Proceed with caution. It's okay to do a little bit of research, but you can't live through other people's experiences or their eyes only. You have to literally check it out. Some of these people go to these places and they wander off the paths when there are clearly signs signs telling you not to wander off the path. Now, I'm not saying that's what these two girls did, but what I want you to realize is every five seconds, there's an amber alert going off in the United States, right? Every time you turn on the news at night, there's bodies all over the city being shot up, chopped up, and uh, worse, right? So don't go into uh, uh, your vacations or move into a country sitting and just, you know, researching all of this stuff that's going to psych you out. You have to move with wisdom. People are people wherever you go. So there's going to be crime wherever you go. Panama has some of the most peaceful people I've ever met in my life. And if you go to Panama City, it's a city. There's ghettos and cities and all of that extra stuff, of course. But we're in Bo uh, Boquete area, Volcan area, all of that stuff. And you don't hear a peep. None of this stuff is happening. Now, as far as uh, going into the woods or something like that or into some type of jungle, guys, uh, um, supposedly that's what they did, right? We're going to read a little bit of it, and, and they never returned out of, oh, snap, this is in Boquete, <laughs> close to where I'm at, okay? So this is like, okay, so it says, is said to be searched, a dam is said to be searched in the hope of finally solving the mystery death of two girls in the Panama jungle nearly 10 years after they vanished. It is a lot of dams, there's a lot of waterfalls, there's a lot of cliffs and stuff that you can fall off of, but people want to automatically just blame it on the indigenous people and make up cannibalism stories and all of this extra crap. Dude. Like anything can happen, some type of mudslide. Look how the terrain is look at this look look anything can happen you never know so it says the students from the netherlands spent six months planning their trip to panama spending some time backpacking volunteering and learning spanish okay so i mean just because they disappeared in the boquete woods does not mean it was humans that did it it could have been some type of animals that did it. It could have been just them getting like injured and not being able to be found, lost uh, uh, signal and all of that stuff. You guys know all of the dang on scary movies you see. There's plenty of ways of dying in the woods, but we don't want to think about that. Just go places. Don't look for weed. Don't look for prostitutes. Don't look, don't go to 
hard with the adventurous and all of that stuff. Just enjoy the scenery. Don't say, you know what? I'm going to jump off a mountain and take an Instagram pic. No, just, just go to the local like restaurants and, and little nightclubs and all of that stuff. And you'll be good, man. Uh, but anyway, I mean, sorry for all you adventurous people out there, but this type of stuff happens when you want to go hiking in places where you <laughs> Never been before and don't know the terrain. Okay, so here we go with all the uh, with with the bull crap. Okay, so it says many mind blowing theories have emerged. Theories have emerged, including one claim that Chris could still be alive after she was trafficked into a sex trade by a kidnapper roaming in the jungle. Wow, y'all, wow with it, man. Listen, trafficking happens for sure. But it, this is not one of the main stumping grounds. You know, it happens everywhere. I'm not saying that. But, like, listen, dog, like, just stay on the path, okay? So if you're trying to travel to Panama, I would strongly suggest you go ahead and travel. That was 2014, and there's people still trying to pull up something that happened 2014. Go and turn on the news right now, and there's somebody missing right now in your city. Tell them to solve that. Tell them to talk bad about your city. But you guys want to go and paint an entire country bad for something that happened 2014. It is 2024 right now. And we still don't know what happened. Look at look at where they're taking a the picture at. They could have slipped right off of this right here. Like, it's nothing right there. You can just fall right off of that and be ah, gone. So, I mean, look, keywords hiking vanished while hiking i mean look up how much bad stuff happens when you hike poisonous snakes all type of stuff okay so if you're traveling here what i would recommend if you're paranoid of the jungle don't go into the jungle stay in uh nicely lit areas stay in the public don't trust anybody, but don't go being uh, prejudiced to anybody because mostly everybody is nice, right? Uh, and just enjoy your trip. Plan trips that will keep you public, okay? All right.